on the early shift. We're looking for a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of one cloudy tonight with just a 40% chance of flurries overnight and a low of zero. We have an odd sort of uh, mix as far as weather goes here along the Detroit River this morning. It's foggy. We have some light snow blowing around. And it's cold. It's minus 7 uh, with a wind chill of minus 15, minus 8 in Chatham, and it's minus 8 degrees in Sarnia. With a population of about 200,000, you would expect a city like Windsor to be noisier than a less populated rural area. But even by urban standards, Windsor is a noisy place, especially along here on Church Road, where you have this steady stream of 18 wheelers going back and forth to the United States. How noisy is it? A group of researchers at the University of Windsor is trying to find out. Colin Novak is an assistant professor in the Faculty of Engineering. He and I got together yesterday just close enough to Huron Church to get a feel for the din. I began by asking him to describe their project. Well, we have a group of uh, 12 students, uh, undergraduate senior students, and uh, what they're trying to do is create a, an acoustic or noise map of the local area um, from the river to the expressway uh, and a one kilometer wide area. Essentially, this area is a major transportation route. It includes uh, Huron Church as well as uh, has rail traffic, and we have the international bridge crossing. And what we want to do is look at what the um, noise exposure is from these transportation routes as well as local industry and uh, commercial activities on the uh, residential areas. How do you go about doing it? Well, what we do, we have a computer program which has been donated to us by a uh, Danish company, Brule and Cure, and it's a, it's a noise mapping program that takes satellite imagery and we, using um, acoustic models for traffic and, and industrial sources, we can actually paint a picture of what the noise exposure is on the residential areas. Uh, and also, we have several sound level meters which we go around uh, the city within the area and we use this to calibrate our models. So not only are we using theoretical equations to create these noise maps, but we're taking actual noise measurements. And what will you do with your findings? Well, it, it essentially it started off as just a, a, a grassroots uh, idea to, to see what the noise exposure is in this area. But what our ultimate goal is, is to create public awareness of, uh, of not only what sorts of things we can do, but also what the noise pollution is within this area. Um, another uh, link to the project is the Green Corridor Project, which has developed a model on how to, what they think, better um, better the, the local area, both aesthetically and acoustically. And what we're going to do is take their ideas and superimpose them on our model of reality to see what effect the actual proposed Green Corridor um, uh, ideas would have on the local area. Now I should point out we're standing here at the corner of College and here on Church Road uh, near the Essex Terminal Railway tracks as you may have heard just moments ago. Any thinking person could tell you that it's noisy here but you're able to quantify this. You're able to apply academic principles to it. Uh, abso absolutely. Um, not only are we able to quantify it but we're able to do it in such a way that any person can understand it. Um, it's sort of like thermal imagery where the colors on our map will represent uh, the hot and the cold zones from an acoustic perspective. How noisy is it? Can you give me some perspective? Oh, it's quite noisy. Um, if you were to stand here at this intersection uh, all day long, you would be approaching levels at times which, uh, which uh, approach the, uh, um, the occupational health and safety guidelines for noise exposure without hearing protection. And from uh, a modeling perspective, 34 cars have the equivalent acoustic energy of one truck. So we're really dealing with a problem here? Is that fair to say? Yeah, I would say so, uh, definitely. And Windsor's certainly taken the brunt of it because I don't think that there are many other areas uh, in Ontario or even in the country where we could say that we'd have such a high concentration of trucks in one uh, localized area. I'm wondering if the results of your study will have any impact on the construction along this corridor at all. Any way of knowing that one way or the other? 
I have no idea uh, right now, but I'm certainly willing to share all of our results with all three levels of government and anyone else who is interested uh, in what we're doing. Like, uh, the point is, what we're doing is a very effective uh, planning uh, process. It's very common in Europe. In fact, any country right now that wants to enter the European Union that has a community greater than... Uh, of a population greater than 100,000, they must do this. They must do this for the entire community because it gives us a snapshot of, uh, of what it is now. And we can use this for uh, the planning process. And that would include uh, the planning process of, of altering this major transportation route. Now, by way of measuring the impact of this study, you're not just going to stand here 50 meters from here on Church Road and do this study. Tell me how wide a swath you're looking at. We're looking at a one kilometer, uh, kilometer wide swath, or 50 meter, or 500 meters on each side of here on Church. Well, what we would really like to do is the entire city, but we just don't have the resources to, to be, or the time to be able to do that. But uh, by taking a one kilometer wide uh, area, we include the transportation noise source plus it includes the effect that all of these sources have on the residential receptors and the people living within the community good to talk to you thank you very much thank you very much that is colin novak he's an assistant professor in the faculty of engineering at the university of windsor he hopes to publish the results of their study by the end of august 2008 coming up in the next half hour a passport that went through a lot of directions